Hello and welcome. This video is designed to give you an overview of the advanced commissions for Acumatica add-on designed by Crestwood Associates. But before we dive directly into the module, let's talk about the general profile of the businesses we had in mind when we created our advanced commissions module. So you can decide fairly quickly if continuing to watch this video is time well spent. First, your organization should be using or are considering using Acumatica as your ERP system. You also pay commissions to salespeople. Now those can be paid to direct employees within your organization or outside contractors or rep firms. Your commission plan structure can range from simple to complex, but most importantly, you recognize that the transactions from which your commissions are based are all already in your ERP system, and you would like to have the system calculate your plans for you. If this describes you, then you're watching the right video. So here's what we'll cover. First, we'll start in the commission's dashboard. Then we'll walk through the various commission plans that can be set up. We'll show the types of entities within Acumatica that can be commissionable. I'll demonstrate how to calculate commissions and we'll end by discussing the options you have to pay commissions. So let's get started. I am logged into Acumatica as a salesperson named Jason Mendenhall. I am immediately presented with my commissions dashboard. I can see at a glance the plans where I am earning commissions, a pie chart to show me how much I've earned from each plan, I also have tiles showing me my month to date and year to date commissions, along with accumulated sales revenue. I also see a table with some of the details of this month's commissions, which I can, of course, drill into to see all my commissions earned this month. Now, as I'm looking at this, I might notice that one of the details I closed isn't listed here, or I'm questioning why I only received a particular amount from an item when I thought I should have received more. Now, in the past, I used to have to wait until after I was paid and look at my commission statement. Then if there was a mistake, someone would have to research it and make any corrections, like cut a new check, run a special payroll, or tack it onto my next commission payout. But now I can call attention to discrepancies before commissions are paid which helps to minimize corrections and saves everyone a lot of time. Further down, I also like the CRM widgets for an overview of my pipeline and opportunities, as well as having insight into overdue receivables, particularly my customers with overdue invoices. This is very useful to me since my company pays me commission after the invoices have been paid. So I'll be sure to leverage my relationship with these customers, give them a call and inquire about when we can expect them to settle their accounts. As you can see, the commissions dashboard is quite a handy tool for your salespeople. Now I'm going to pivot from a salesperson role and take on the role of the person who oversees our company's commission plans. In your company, that might be a sales manager or HR, payroll person, what have you. Now, I'll be using the commission's workspace to set up and process commissions. As you can see, Crestwood's advanced commissions module was built directly in Acumatica, which means it uses the basic functionality of the ERP system, including security. So only those logged in with the correct role will have permissions to access the commission's workspace. Now let's take a look at the commission's plans in my organization. All plans have an ID and a name, along with the plan type of either flat rate or quota, which we will explore in more detail in just a minute. You can also set a date range for your plan, choose how often your plan is paid, monthly, quarterly, or annually, and whether you pay commission immediately, which is when the AR invoice is released, or once that invoice is paid. So let's take a closer look at commission plan options by exploring a few that we have set up. My first plan is set up to calculate commissions based on the product's profit. 
When selecting a plan type of flat rate, you have two options for creating plan calculations, the expression builder or using a generic inquiry. Both of these tools are native to Acumatica. Now this is not a training video, so I won't be showing you how to use these tools, but know that you have some flexibility. Now with the expression builder, you add as many rules that you want to create in this plan. Now each rule will have a condition and a calculated value. My first rule states that if the inventory ID of an AR line item begins with toy, run this calculation. Take the extended price of that line item, subtract the item cost, and multiply it by some specific percentage. My second rule has a couple conditions surrounding the inventory ID and presents a similar calculation, just using a higher percentage. So I can continue to build out as many rules as I would like for this plan. Let's look at our second plan. Now this is an example of a quota plan. Here, I'm looking at accumulated sales revenue during the plan's duration. So in 2020, when a salesperson reached $10,000 in accumulated sales revenue, they received a $100 bonus. As these different tiers were reached, they received additional bonuses. Our third plan is another flat rate plan, but our commission's value is determined using a generic inquiry or GI. So since GIs are native to Acumatica, the IT people or Acumatica power users at your company are certainly already familiar with this tool. At least at a high level, they know you build your GI by adding database tables, defining the table relationships, setting up conditions and grouping, and also determining the displayed results. So creating a GI is beyond the scope of this video, but the power of using a GI in commissions cannot be understated. I'd like to say, if the data is being stored in Acumatica, you can create a generic inquiry to help you pull out the information you need and use that to create a calculation. So this plan is using the GI to look at the inventory item on an AR invoice and looking up what item class that item belongs to. So I can give a different commission rate to inventory in different item classes. So food is at 30% and software at 10%. One final option in commissions plans is to choose a roll-up plan. This option lifts the condition of specifying a salesperson for the GI. So some examples might be if a sales manager earns commissions based on the sales of all the salespeople who report to them, or maybe you pay bonuses if all the salespeople at a specific branch or location achieve a cumulative sales revenue number for that branch. So having the ability to look up entities related to your salesperson allows for greater flexibility in creating your plans. Once my plans are set up, I'll need to decide what salespeople belong to what plans. If I open Jason Mendenhall, I can see what plans allow him to earn commissions. I can add him to additional plans or remove him from existing ones. So we have our plan set up. I've added salespeople to these plans. Now we need to bind the salesperson with the entities that have been chosen in the rules of the commission plan. The first level can be with the customer. On any customer record, you can use the salesperson tab to assign salespeople to your customer. Now, if your customer has more than one location, you can assign different people to each location. You can also split commissions between multiple salespeople. So if Steve and Eric split all commissions on Chicago sales for this particular customer, I can enter that information here. But the commission split for each location does need to equal 100%. The salesperson marked as primary for each location will be the one who gets credit on accumulated sales in your quota plans. 
The next commissionable entity is the sales order. Since Jason is the salesperson on Alta Ace's customer record, he will automatically be listed in the commission split of the sales order. But if Pam assisted Jason in the sale of the air hockey table, I can modify it right here on the sales order to make that adjustment. So now I'm going to remove this order from hold and quick process this order to quickly take it through our shipping process and create an AR invoice. As you might guess, the AR invoice is the third commissionable entity. All the commission splits here are carried over from the sales order. I can make adjustments to commission splits at the line level of any AR invoice as well. So let's release this AR invoice and move on to our next commissionable entity. If you are using project accounting, you simply select the commissionable check mark on any project. And I'll pick the TMR project here. But this commissionable check box lets you know this project is commissionable. So here's that check box. When you run project billing, that will fire off your AR invoice so you can start calculating commissions. And finally, if you are using customer contracts, the details tab of your customer contract is where you'll find those commission splits. The AR invoices created when you run contract billing will allow you to start calculating commissions. So now we've created our plans. We've assigned salespeople to our plans and have bound those salespeople to our commissionable entities. It's time to let the system work its magic. The Calculate Commission screen is where we'll start. Now I'm going to do this manually, but like most processing screens, Acumatica will let you put this on a schedule and automate these steps. Now, if you have dozens of plans set up, the options at the top will allow you to filter by plan ID, or even choose to calculate commissions for one salesperson at a time, along with filtering by start and end dates of my plans. Now I could choose to calculate all of my plans or select one or more and choose to just calculate for that selected plan. You'll notice that right after I calculate my plan, my dashboard gets updated with the new calculations. This again gives your sales reps insight into what they can expect on their next commission payment. Once commissions are calculated, a manager can approve those commissions. Here's the processing screen where that happens with some of the same useful filters that you'll see on the top. Now let's go ahead and approve a few of these commissions for Jason. After we approve these commissions, Let's head back to the commission's dashboard and see how that is presented. Notice the commission status changed for those to an accrued status. After approval, all commission plans with a payout type of immediate will be moved to an accrued status. For unpaid invoice plans, they will only go to an accrued status if the AR invoice is paid in full. Otherwise, they are in an approved status. They will not get moved to an accrued status until the invoices are paid in full. In other words, accrued is good. That means I can expect to see that commission the next time this commission plan is paid. So what's next? Well, first, you can simply wait. If my commission plan payment is monthly, on the first business date of next month, the system automatically changes any accrued commissions to a ready for payment status. If for any reason you need to force a commission into a ready for payment status, that can be done on the process commission screen. So now I've calculated commissions, a manager has approved them, 
All my customers paid their invoices and these commissions are in an accrued status. So I either forced the commissions to a ready for payment status, or I waited for the system to automatically change that status for me. So now let's pay those commissions. If you are paying commissions to your internal employees through payroll, the pay commission screen is where you'll export this data to an Excel spreadsheet. So you can easily use that file to upload or enter the commission payment into your payroll system. Once paid, you want to process these commissions so they enter their final status of paid. Now, if you are not using payroll and you would like to create AP bills to pay commissions, we've got you covered. The ready for payment create AP file will allow you to export to an Excel file, which will be in a correct format that you can use with an import scenario that will auto create those AP bills for you. To top it all off, you'll find many useful inquiries and some reports, such as the commission summary report. This gives you a nice clean look for those of you that like to print a commission summary or even send it via email. And of course you can always export to an Excel spreadsheet. I hope you enjoyed learning how Crestwood's advanced commissions for Acumatica add-in can simplify your commissions process. The Commissions Dashboard will give your salespeople full insight into commissions they have earned. You can create simple or more robust plans, taking advantage of native Acumatica functionality like the Expression Builder and Generic Inquiry, so you can create calculations for virtually any data that is being stored in Acumatica. You can automate calculating commissions and take advantage of the built-in approval process. Paying commissions is a breeze with the option to create AP bills or simply export to an Excel spreadsheet to aid with entry into your payroll system. The bottom line, instead of pulling reports out of your system, manipulating that data and running calculations in multiple spreadsheets, you can now let the system do the work for you. In the end, no matter how complicated your plans, this will simplify your commissions process all while never having to leave your favorite ERP system, Acumatica.